we are going to see in detail about packages package is a collection of procedure functions variable or cursor it will contain everything so uh, like why we need packages like package stores everything in a private manner like we cannot access until we know this packages contain containing this type of procedures and the functions in that way so there are two things like uh, while we are creating packages one is a specification and another is a body specification contains the declaration of procedure variable or function it can be created like this create package package name as then you have to put end at the final so in between you have to declare the procedure or whatever thing other thing like it will be taken into the body the package body will contain everything where it will be expanding whatever the details that you have uh, created that mean defined inside the uh, specification you have to define it here so that is for only for uh, definition here uh, you have to uh, define that whole uh, body of the procedure or function whatever you have created there so we can go for um, like two end statements are there one is for the procedure ending and another is for the package ending uh, so i will uh, demonstrate everything using a simple example you can go step by step procedure so i the, i hope that uh, example will uh, I mean explain everything in detail so let's start our example okay. i'm going to put a, a new package i'm going to create new package create or replace package okay. in this example i'm going to uh, like include only one uh, procedure you can go for n number of procedure so in this example i'm going to write only one procedure so procedure hello you have to put semicolon i am not going to use any type of argument in this first example so just you you typed in that's it so while running you can see a message that the package is created so the package name is sample and you can access the procedure by using sample dot hello that is the thing so now it is a specification it is a procedure specific sorry package specification now you have to create the package body so it can be done using the create or replace statement package and you have to put body since it's a body of the package you have to mention the keyword body and you have to use the same name sample because we have uh, created the package as sample so you have to use the same name i'm going to use the keyword as and uh, uh, then i am going to define the procedure see procedure hello is declared in the previous uh, specification while we are creating package specification i have created procedure hello so now i am going to define what is going to be uh, the container of the i mean what is to be contained in the procedure procedure hello is begin i am going to just print hello that's it so it's a simple uh, package and a simple procedure example i have i'm going to have only one uh, procedure within this package so just end so you can go for do two ends because one is for procedure and another is for uh, the package body so i'm going to uh, like uh, i've expanded this procedure hello because the hello has been defined in the package sample okay while you are running it will give a message package body is created so if you get confusing with this end statement why we are putting two end statement you can write the uh, package and like end hello it means that the pa the procedure uh, hello has been entered and uh, the pack end sample which means that package sample has been come to an end in that way it will be working as same just a demonstration of uh, how to differentiate the end statements okay, now we can run and check this begin i am uh, going to use the package name sample dot hello which means that sample is a package name and hello is the procedure name so while you are running you will get a message hello world i should get a message hello world so you got the message so it's a simple demonstration of a package with uh, mean a simple procedure included in the package so this package will be like uh, it will be in a private form for example the first thing in the specification where i defined the pro um, package sorry procedure it will be of uh, public 
and the next thing that inside the body what i have done is a private thing so now i am going to introduce an argument in the uh, procedure so this thing procedure hello will be a public one it will be available to all the user but the coding that you have done in the body of that process package will be in the private form now i am going to put a uh, c out number you know what is out and what is in if you don't know just follow the video of uh, functions or procedure that we have seen before i'm going to declare i mean pass the argument df out number here one thing to be noted i will explain why so uh, see here clearly in the previous uh, specification i have put procedure hello c out number now i am returning df out number in that way i am writing um, okay just printing the statement i am going to assign a value usually in other programs it should be running fine for example uh, you can the argument that is df here should be fine but here it will generate error i will tell why see here we are given c out number here i am giving df out number on it see sub program or cursor hello is declared in the package and must be defined we have defined the procedure hello but it is telling an error why because we have to use the same variable name which we have used in the specification so here we have used c so it should be c here or else it will be telling an error okay while you run i mean after uh, making the changes you can run the statement and you will get a message that the package body has been created okay i'll run it again okay the package body has been created now we have passed an argument so uh, we can go to the run statement and we can check how uh, we can pass an argument here we cannot pass a number here directly because it is an out uh, uh, type of argument we cannot pass a number if you don't know like we can uh, check the previous videos so we have to declare a variable so i am going to create a variable say f as a number i am going to pass this f okay just we can run the statement hello is taking one argument which is of type number so we can run this you will get an output of 5 why 5 because i have assigned the value 5 in the body like you can see package body is contained this c and c is assigned a value of 5 and i have printed the value of c here i hope you understand this okay now we will go for another example let me say like uh, how we can uh, fetch uh, data from the table in that way we'll go for some better examples i'm going to fetch an element say select start from um, students students has already contained many um, rows you can see id name mark subject position are there i am going to fetch a row based on the id id is of type number so i am going to fetch a row uh, based on the id so what i am going to do is it is going to be the same in the body of the package i am going to make some changes so i am going to create a variable name for example uh, let me say d for storing the name i am going to what i am going to do is i am going to fetch the name of the student based on their id so that is what i'm going to do so i'm degrading d varchar of 240 and the statement i don't want i think i can remove this mm i'll get the input from the calling statement so i will remove here if you want you can get it here no issues okay now i'm going to write the select query select name into the d that is into d from students student is a table name where id is equal to c so i am going to fetch i am going to pass this value here so in 
i d is equal to c c is of type number so then i am going to print name so we can give this as t i can put name also there name in single quotes name and an or statement d so it will print like name name and then name name and then d value that's it so the package body has been created so we are going to pass a value from the calling statement and it is going to fetch the row from the student table so f number is there i am going to get the value and i mean input for f say f is equal to um, enter id Okay, it should work fine. ID value is one, two, three in that way. I'm going to run invalid. Okay, leave some space and run. I'm going to write like one and submit. It is telling that no data found. There is some mismatch like um, ID's number is not matching with the the data type. So f's data type so i'm going to change the data type of f i'm going to use the same data type that has been used in the table let me put students i'm going to refer the field dot id and percentage type which means that i'm going to assign the data type of id to f so now let's check whether it is working fine or not okay I'm passing one and I'm going to clicking submit. Still, it is telling that there is no data found, but our uh, main statements are correct. So I'm going to change. I'm going to directly I give a value one, okay, which is not possible because uh, we cannot pass value directly because it is an out type of parameter. So I'm going to change the type of the parameter to in for checking purpose. I'm going to change into in. You know what is in or out? Or in or out, you know. The, I hope. If you don't know, just uh, you check the previous video. Okay. So now I'm getting. You can see that is name and Ravi. I'm directly passed sample dot hello of one. I didn't get passed the input. So it is giving me an output name Ravi. The first value is fetched. So not, now let us check some by passing f. It should come like it. I think it is some compiler issue. It is working fine now. Okay, I will change the value and I will check two. Okay, no data found. Let me check the table. Okay, there is no data really. So I will give three. Okay, it is working fine. So I can check with other data too. What actually happened is I didn't, I did nothing. Like there is some compiler issue as we will face. Um, so it is the code that will be working fine. I hope. So if you have any doubt, just put it in the comments. Thank you.